And good afternoon, Warpin 3, bringing you another product review. This time here we're looking at the Husky 5000 Luminous Portable LED Work Light. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm gonna have to rain down in a godly fucking firestorm on you. All right. Now, again, this is the Husky 5000 watt uh, LED work light. Now, I got this from um, Home Depot, and basically it was 50 bucks. It was $49.96. And let's just open it up and see what you get in the inside. All right, um, as we unboxing this for that, just want to show you what's inside for that. You get instruction book, tell you how to, how to use it. What else do you get inside? And you get the work light itself. All right, let's take it outside of the box. All right, as you can see right here, so that you just like, okay, wait a minute. The work light's not standing up on its own um, because there's extra pieces that you actually have to install on the work light for it to, well, it can work without it, the extra pieces, but it won't stand up. So this is something that you have to assemble to work um so it's extra pieces that you have to use here and it's the stand that goes along with it that you have to attach to it now it is saying i'm not going to actually attach this one as well. i ha had this unit before so that uh, my wife bought it for me so as you can see right here so that the stand goes at the bottom you just basically t um, turn off the wire nut and wire nut back on and then it attaches the, in the bottom section now, as you can see right here, it comes with red pegs that go inside of it, and right out the box, you already see one of the red pegs is already missing. That's the thing about this work like hand slider, the pegs that's supposed to hold, uh, hold on for it, they're not more up surfaces and everything else that always seem to basically disappear. It always seems to like, ah, oh, well, what one minute's there, and uh, so you always lose these. They come off too easy for them to actually be relevant. They don't screw on, they just pop right on and off, so, and they're not, not even, you know, pop on or well so that part is the poor design and everything so now the base is actually metal um as you see right here the section i'm pulling on right now so this is actually metal and you know it's pretty stout you know you can wrench on this part for that as you see me pulling on so that so it will not bend well it will not bend easily would be the more accurate description for that um as you can see the, um, on the back of this, it, it, it is ribbed in the back it has the power is at the top of the units for that you know, on off switch. So you can see that it flips back and forth uh, real easy. Um, but it's not the, the switch is basically on the outside. So all any rain, anything else of that will get on the switch very easily. It's it's waterproof. But if you need to, if this switch gets damaged, the boot that's around it gets damaged. Well, you're basically screwed. I mean, there's no other way to actually turn it on and off. So, that, so you know, this switch is in an inconvenient location. So, like I said, you know, the switch is replaceable and everything else today. It does flip smoothly back and forth so that, but it's really not made for, I mean, even though it said this light, light's supposed to be for outdoor use, the way the switch is and mounted and everything else that, you know, any little pinhole where it's at, you're gonna get screwed. Okay, as you can see on the back so it does have ribs on the back of it to keep the unit cool. Um, but I really find, I'm trying to give you an angle here, you really find that you see how shallow the ribs are actually inside of it. So that's not really going to give you any real cooling capacity. Um, the ribs should be much thicker than this and everything else to that, uh, which I have understand why they did it like this. Now, I do understand part of it. Um, this is a lead light, so it's not supposed to get as hot as the, um, the standard one, the, the older one, which used to have the bulb inside of it for that, that bulb one used to be, get so hot that if you touch it, you, you know, burn, burn yourself. And as you see right now in the back of it, it does have a power cord. Now you're probably wondering why would it need a power cord in the back? Okay. Well, a Husky makes a stand that you can hook two lights to and for that. So basically the light from one cord would plug into the other cord at the, the back of the other light. So this cord here, it basically if you have two of the exact same light, the cord you're just looking at right now would plug into the back of the other light. Now this cord is not really that long. The cord length is only five feet. 
so it's not really long at all so of course like everything else that you will have in your cinch cone but it is heavy duty and it is a three prong plug meaning that it is grounded so if you put it in a ground socket which you should be using in the outside and everything else that you're going to be excellent and fine so again you see me showing it right here again it would be on the stand um try to spin it around so you can see it a little bit better for that so again I'm trying to show you the position of how it would be. Basically, one side while I'm holding it on my left hand will, excuse me, my left hand will be light. Then you have one, another light on the other side that you can basically position in multi different positions. The other light will plug in the back of this. And then from there, you basically be able to say, okay, well, I can point it this way. You have both lights coming at you in tandem. Because again, the way, the way it works is, you know, you can put it in tandem. Now, the problem is that the light dispersion isn't that great is more this line is more of a um spot in instead of an area light meaning it doesn't flood a long a, a wide path because uh, you can see right here you can see it only has basically one single um lead inside of it even though it might have multiple ones inside it in that little spot right there you just can't see it but it looks comes out as like the one single end whereas i'm going to show you another um product that i have as well because my wife uh, and um, my wife bought another type when i said i didn't like this one um that would be in a separate review and then i'm going to um, do a review after that that's going to cover basically the, the differences between the husky one and the other one but that's coming up in, in the later review okay so so this is really what you want to do now again you you if you the stand that i'm talking about is a separate stand that stand itself costs another um 50 59 dollars so you can use the light in tandem to get a wide beam spread on the um on the work light now again, the knob that's on this is basically plasticky. Um, the adjustment knobs are also plastic for that. So but even though the whole device itself is made out of metal, um, but again, it only, it, the, the beam pattern is the problem that I had with this light. Like I said, I had this before I just explained earlier so that um, uh, the damage to my, my barn busted a lot of stuff like this so i had to get a replacement or well, actually my wife got me a replacement for it so that, but i didn't like this one because of the beam pattern um she had to replace it one time before but she didn't remember which type it was so she just remembered okay she, i had a husky one so she bought me a replacement now as you can see right here is for that the cord comes in the back it is completely weatherproof um but the connector is a connector where you can unscrew it meaning that when you um not, not to replace um let's say if you needed to the cord got damaged for that you can go inside and replace it now it it has good tucking force on it so if you try to tug on this hard and everything else to that the way the attachment is for that it's not going to um instantly break off it's not going to leak on you so that right right away um you have to be doing some majorly disgusting things to make it leak um again uh, the, the glass it is a glass here so you can break it now they do make the same one it looks exactly the same but the um, it actually is plastic so you have to actually when you buy it for that you don't know which one you'll get um, the one this model here is the K40188 but I think both of them have the exact same model number so it is glass but you can see how stout it is it's made it's rugged it's made to be outdoors it's made so that you know if you knock this thing around you knock it over it'll, it'll be fine at least that's what i thought so that um i always thought so that okay since it's made of steel or and, and it's rugged and you can drop this thing and everything else that you'll be fine the problem i had for that i've actually dropped this like well, uh, before it could have had it on a stand and it fell over and slid it and what's the first thing that goes out? The actual light. It d doesn't matter if the base is um, steel and everything else that doesn't matter that all this is steel. When you drop this version here, it does break the connections inside for the light. I don't know how. I, it's just a thing, but it does come with a, 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 a good warranty. 
um, as you can see right here, it's a, it's a three year warranty on light. So if you drop it, break it, everything else like that, just make sure you send your warranty card in um, you, and you register when you got right to get it with it and you'll get a replacement. And that replacement usually comes to you within a week. So that is a good thing and everything else like that. You, you will get a replacement. Um, you don't have to worry about, okay, well, uh, I've dropped the light in already and no. So the, the warranty is a good warranty. Now the, the next light I'm going to cover, the review is going to be different and you'll be like, okay, well, why, why did I go with this one that's made of heavy duty and the other one is the, the type of material it's made of? Why would the Husky one have a shorter warranty? than the one that everybody would think is inferior. I'm going to explain that later. But again, um, this is something that I wanted to, uh, to walk through you with these guys. Walk through. <laughs> Sorry. This is something I wanted to explain to you guys and everything else to that. This is not a cheap work light. This is a work like you would use in most times in an industrial setting, or even if you're using in your house and everything else so that you would use this more for an indoor than you would actually for an outdoor, even though it's rated for an outdoor, I get, again, the beam pattern, unless you're willing to spend another um, $50 and then for that plus another $57 or 58, uh, might as well say $60 for the stand, you will be paying almost $150 plus tax and everything else so that $200 to get a wide beam pattern for you to be able to actually use this. That to me sucks. Um, that's the reason why I didn't, I, I wouldn't buy this again. And so that, um, is it worth the $49 price? I'm going to have to say myself personally, no, this should be in the neighborhood of, they have a lower price one. So that that's, um, 40, 40,000 lumens so that that's $39. That's the price that it should be. Again, I'm showing you the connection stand, what it's going to be and everything else that, that you have to use for it for that. And in order to make this light usable in a, in a much more applications and everything else that. But my rating on this one here would be three out of five. Do not get me wrong. It is a good light. It's a strong light. It will, you know, if you need a spot beam and everything else today, or a spot in area today, and you working in everything else today, this will do. And it's lead, so it will last a long time. That lead light will last a long time. It, you will get lots of use out of it. Um, it's very energy efficient. It doesn't use the amount of power. The, the older lights, the, the old light, which looks exactly the same, this but it has a bump inside of it. Um, literally is the problem now the older version of this the bulbs again when it dropped which inevitably will you can go right to lowe's and pick up a new light and put the bulb inside of it and you're often so it didn't take you but a day and you're back on the thing now as you see i'm going back to the, the, the nitpicking so that is the switch the switch i have a problem because again it's right on top Again, if it's outside, if it starts raining, it starts anything like that, that's the first point of failure because that's the part that you're going to be moving back and forth all the time. That's going to get work. So now you can fix that by putting some silicone around and everything else that and making it um, great and work again. Again, the beam pattern is not from what I desire for that. Again, now if it's for you, you might be like, okay, well, but I want a spot, more of a spot in a just a certain area to get maximum light. That's great. And if that's what you're looking for, then it's a light thing for you. Well, this is Warp on the D saying, Warp out, have fun, and catch you on the next one. Please hit that like, subscribe button. It really helps the channel out for that. Um, until then, we'll catch you later.